Hey, it's Tommy Hodgins. I'm going to briefly explain why CSS blocks and tools like it are the next generation of CSS styling compared to what people have been doing in the past. If you're not familiar with CSS blocks, it was released last year by LinkedIn and developed by Chris Epstein and his team. And Chris is one of the maintainers for SAS and has been influential in the development of that. On their homepage here, they've got a demo that illustrates exactly what it does for you. So unlike with other CSS tools, your input is a friendly, human-readable, 100% valid CSS style sheet. So the code that the human touches and writes looks like this. And even though this is valid CSS, it doesn't look like it will necessarily apply to the elements on our page. These things are written to target things inside of the JavaScript app. The second step is the computer compiles that into the CSS rules that are needed. So the human doesn't ever have to write something like button dash dash inverse or button dash dash size small. These are all automatically generated based on your input, your friendly human readable input. It generates the flat CSS that you need. But there's a step that you can do programmatically better than any human can. And that is if you have written it using the strict subset of valid CSS that they know how to optimize, and JavaScript is aware of the DOM and the states and the different things that you will be needing, then you can do this third optimize step, which currently nothing else can do. Now this uses a tool called Optics or Optus CSS, and this looks an awful lot like things like Tailwind or these functional CSS libraries where you're adding just teeny tiny little class names that have this, um, and it's removing anything that wasn't used. So the point here is, if you want to end up with this as your end result, this utility class style, highly optimized code, right now the best way to do it isn't for a human to write it. A computer can compile and optimize this better than a human can, but to get to the most optimized and best result relies on a human writing simple, meaningful, human-readable CSS. The computer does what the computer's best at, as long as the human does what the human is best at. So quit trying to be a compiler, quit trying to be an optimizer, try to be a coder.